Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Alethea. Today, we will be making broccoli slaw, homemade sweet potato fries, and turkey burger sliders. Now, I made the, the uh, homemade sweet potato fries. What I did was I took two sweet potatoes, and I washed them, and I didn't peel the skins off. I cut them in french fry form, like this, this size here french fry form and I put them in a pan, drizzled some oil over it and some seasonings. I put adobo, I put a little bit of parsley and a little bit of garlic and herb over it and I mixed it together in the pan. And now I'm going to put it in the oven so it can bake. This is a healthier version of sweet potato fries. Next I'm going to be making the broccoli slaw. Here we have our ingredients. We have the mayonnaise, we have our craisins, we have a one-fourth of an onion diced up, we have some chopped uh, carrots, we have a little bit of relish, we have our fresh um, cabbage, which I cut up in very small, thin slices, and we have our broccoli, which is the main ingredient. And we have our seasonings over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I am going to put relish in first, just mix it up a little bit because this is all going to all come together. I'm going to put some broccoli in here, just as much broccoli as you want. And I, I used almost a whole head of small head of cabbage for this uh, broccoli slaw. Maybe put a little bit more in here of broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up just a little bit, as much as we can, because it's dry right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the onions and the carrots in. And after we do this, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning in here and then the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is going to bring it all together. And if you feel that you need more broccoli, you can go ahead and put some more broccoli in it. As much as you like. So let's put a little bit of the seasoning. I'm using adobo. I like to cook with adobo. Um, adobo has a unique taste to it. I'm going to put some uh, parsley flakes in here. Sprinkle some around. And some garlic and herb. Just a little garlic and herb. This is how I make mine. Everybody makes theirs different. And I'm going to put the mayonnaise in here. As much mayonnaise as you like. But um, I find that with, with uh, cabbage, it's like a sponge. It absorbs the mayonnaise, the liquids. It absorbs it. So it's going to um, create like more of a sauce. This may not look like a lot of mayonnaise that I put in here, but as it sits, as you mix it together and as it sits, it's going to uh, incorporate the juices out of the cabbage and it's going to, um, you know, like I said, it's like a sponge. It's going to make it uh, liquidy. Not liquid, liquidy, but you know, it's all going to come together, in other words. So this is like a quick... It could be like a quick lunch if you're home today, or it could be a, a quick dinner, could, quick midweek dinner, you can say. It doesn't take long. Now, this is going to be mixing it all around. I need a little bit more um, mayonnaise, just a little bit more, because I have a lot of ingredients in here. And if you want to put, some people put celery in it. My mom used to make it with celery celery seeds in her uh, homemade coleslaw and potato salad. She used to put celery seeds in hers, which it comes out. Like I said before in my other videos, I'm grateful for my parents because they taught me how to cook. Um, you know, I grew up with both parents, my mother and my father in the home, and my mother, she did work, she worked in a hospital overnight. She was a nurse, 
and she did nursing in the hospital and my father used to do a lot of the cooking like Sunday meals and stuff like that but my mom she made a lot of homemade like jellies and jams and I remember growing up going to the farm out to the farm picking strawberries me and my niece we would go and uh, pick strawberries and blueberries and those were the days we would come bring them home and wash them up and my mom would do a lot of canning with that with farm fresh peaches and all that so I never did canning yet so maybe one day I can uh, you know try to uh, continue with that with the canning because that's a lot of work but it's it's all worth it in the end so see this coleslaw here is coming along good my father he used to do a lot of the baking so I get that, you know, on both ends. My mom would do a lot of cooking. My father would do a lot of baking. He used to cook, too. He used to make up his own ingredients. You know, his, he never went by the recipes. He always did his own thing. And it would come out so good. So I'm grateful for them today. For all that I've learned. Oh, you see the mayonnaise is just all coming together. All coming together. And at the longer it sits the more liquid is going to come out of it and it's just going to look real good. So I am going to put just a little bit more adobo and just a little bit more parsley flakes here. Mix this up a little bit more. Now I like using cayenne pepper too in my uh, when I make things, just a little bit. That gives it like, to me that replaces the pepper. And it gives it a little more punch because it's, you know, a little spicy. But I don't use a lot. I just use a little bit, like a little dash. And it's like, hmm, what is that in there? It's cayenne pepper. <laughs> okay, now that we have mixed up the broccoli slaw, we're going to put the finishing touches on top, which is the craisins. It's going to give it a sweet taste. Sweet and colorful taste. <laughs> sweet look. Sweet taste. I'm going to mix this up here just a little bit so that the craisins can get through it. All right. And we're going to move on to just a little bit more. And that's it for your now broccoli. Now we're going to move on to our making of our turkey burger sliders. I have mixed up together a pound of ground turkey, a package of onion soup mix, garlic and herb spices, and parsley and oregano seasonings in here, and one egg. I mix this all up together. I also put a little bit of uh, ketchup and a little bit of mustard in this too. This is so somewhat of like my meatball mixture that I make. And I get a spoon of it, and you make the size of like a meatball, big size meatball here. You have a pan on medium heat. You pat this down a little bit, not too much. And you let it do its do. Okay, now I've made all the turkey burger sliders on the pan, the grill pan here, and they're ready to turn over. So we're going to start turning them over because they're little guys. They don't take too long to cook. So just going to start turning them over. Then once they get done, we're going to start assembling them. And our sweet potato fries, they're still in the oven, they're still cooking. I don't know if I mentioned before, but you make them on, bake them on 425 in the oven until they're done, which they, they're sweet potatoes. So they can take about a half hour or so to cook. And we'll be back in a few minutes to, to assemble these guys. Okay, now our turkey burgers are finished cooking. And we went ahead and put the cheese on top. We used Gouda cheese, Gouda sliced cheese, and we topped each piece with one uh, piece of cheese. 
and we're going to go ahead and assemble the turkey burgers. So we're going to use take one turkey burger, and if you want, you can put a little mayonnaise. Let's put a little mayonnaise on our rolls here, just a little bit. You can use ketchup too, mustard, whatever you like. Take one turkey burger, put here, and we're going to take, we have, for our toppings, we have lettuce, tomato, avocado, sliced avocado, and sliced onion. We're going to take a piece of lettuce, put it on top. We're going to have a slice of tomato on top. We're going to have a slice of onion on top, just a little bit. A little bit of onion. And then for the finish, finishing touch, we're going to have a slice of avocado on top. And we put our bread on top of that. That's one slider down. Next, we're going to do another one with mayonnaise again. We're going to do another one for you. Burger here on the bun. We're going to put a piece of lettuce. Lettuce is bigger than the bun. A slice of tomato. A slice of onion. And avocado on top. And we top it with the bun. Now you can do some without the avocado and some without the lettuce and tomato and onion, whatever you like. So we'll go ahead and we'll do some here with just the burger, the cheese, and the bread. We'll do a couple of those, burger, cheese, and bread. Some people don't like all that extra fanciness on theirs. Okay. And we'll be back to show the final presentation of everything. And we're back. And here we have the final presentation of our midweek lunch, which is the turkey burger sliders, the homemade sweet potato fries baked in the oven, and our homemade version of broccoli sauce. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. And as I always said before, we will be having more delicious recipes to come as the season goes on. And I will see you next time on Cooking with Alethea. Bye-bye. Mm.